I'll call this meeting of the Black Hawk County Board of Supervisors to order. Uh, roll call, please, Mr. Jameson. Hall? Here. Leyland? Here. Little? Here. Trelka? Schwartz? Here. Uh, please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, item one is the agenda received. Is proposed or amended? So moved. I'll second. So moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 And item two, this is budget work session discussion, possible board action consideration of all aspects of the fiscal year 25 Blackhawk County budget. I'll turn things over to you, Michelle. All right. And Sandy Smith, our, our county recorder, has happily said she would present first. So, <laughs> good morning, board. She's all ready. Yes, yeah, Sandy Smith, recorder. <laughs> Michelle put together this nice introduction, so I'll read it quickly. Yeah, the recorder's I'm, office. Give me a second. Oh, sure. I'll get it up, hopefully, for all the public listening. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Go ahead. Okay. Our purpose. The recorder's office main, maintains all official real estate documents and provides retrieval and reproduction of these records for the public and businesses. In addition to collecting fees for real estate transactions, transfer tax and auditor fees, the recorder's office issues DNR licenses, <coughs> records a veteran's discharge papers, accepts marriage applications and issues the subsequent li licenses, issues certified copies of birth, death and marriage records, and we are a certified passport acceptance facility. The recorder also maintains a records management fund as required by the Code of Iowa. One dollar of the fee for each recorded document is deposited into an interest bearing account. This fund is usually is used exclusively for the purpose of preserving and maintaining public records. So having said that, this year, well, as you all know, the, the majority of our revenue is collected from the recording of documents, real estate documents. <clears throat> the economy, the state of the housing market, and the current interest rates all have an impact on how many documents we will record each year. Currently, we are down about 20% in overall documents. Now, if the interest rates change and the housing market changes, we hope to see that increase. In years past, we've had significant increases in this department when it's a booming housing market. We are not seeing that right now. So in my budget today, I have reduced our recording of instruments, $75,000. Some of the highlights, <clears throat> last year there was a law change and the DNR increased the writing fees for recorders. They went from $1.25 to $2 per transaction. Which doesn't seem like a significant increase, but it does have a small impact. So I was able to show some increases in some of our departments. It's also a boat renewal season, which only comes around once every three years. So we're seeing significant increases in revenue projections in those areas. There is an effort, I can tell you, underway to increase recording fees in Iowa. They have not been increased in nearly 30 years. Oh. <laughs> so they're hopeful that will be done, maybe not this legislative session, but next session. So are there any questions about the revenues? I don't think so. Any questions, Board? Uh, it just looks like an extra 20000 for passport fees. Yes. We're hoping now... Our passports are not mandated by law. That is a service we just provide to our citizens. It's it's a good money maker. We've seen it go from ninety thousand to one hundred and twenty five thousand okay. in a booming year. So we're hopeful. Our our busiest months are coming up. Um, actually, from now to like April, we should see significant increases in what we've collected in passports. The travel industry appears to be back. So we are seeing more customers with that. So we're hopeful to continue to provide that service. It's. We feel like if you're in the courthouse recording a document no. and you need a passport, you need your birth certificate, we like to provide that service awesome. to citizens. And it's a good revenue for the county. Thanks. You know, how do um, um, the document the records, the numbers compare to this kind of the pre-pandemic levels? Because we had a boom in 2020. Right. I do have some figures for you there. Let's see. 
Actually, FY21, we recorded 27,000 documents. Okay. FY23, 25,000 documents. And Chris, the recording fee in Iowa, it's a per page fee. So not only are our numbers down, but when somebody, when the interest rates are low, everybody's refinancing. So a new mortgage gets recorded. A mortgage may be $100 to record if mm -hmm. it's 20 pages. So we're not seeing the refinances. Gotcha. We're not seeing the new mortgages. So. All right, thank you. Yes. Any other questions, board? No revenue. No, thank you. Yes. Okay, well, thank you. Okay, thank you. All right. I do have a page in here for her, the recorder's management fee fund, too. I didn't have that one up there, just so you can see that they do get a small fee that's put in a separate fund. And Sandy can yes. better explain. I can tell you that. that. One dollar <laughs> of every document that's recorded goes into a records management fund, and that can carry over from year to year. So currently, I think there's approximately $62,000 in that fund that I will be trying to use this, th this year for a new records management system. It's... What I do is I budget for approximately how many documents we'll record, put that in for my revenues, and then that is what I will also spend out of that fund. If I, I won't spend more than I'm going to put into that fund. So this year I projected about 18,000 documents. Therefore, I will then spend the 18,000 from there. Preserving records. So that's where I do my digitizing in phases. So there's no extra money being passed on to the taxpayer. It's all being paid for through that fund. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. All right, I think we're ready for the treasurer's office then. <laughs> Good morning, board. Good morning. Linda Hensman, treasurer. Um, let's see if I can follow suit as well as Sandy just did there. Um, so it looks like up on display, there's some um, things that Michelle has also prepared for our office. Uh, the treasurer, being a curator of Blackhawk County, is responsible for the receipt, management, disbursement, financial reporting, bonds, and investment of all monies paid to the county and serves as an agent for the State of Iowa Department of Transportation and the Department of Revenue and Finance. The treasurer compiles composite reports for the general ledger ledgers, reviews, and reconciles receipts, bills, and cash received received to assure accuracy of figures to prevent discrepancies in financial loss. In addition, the treasurer categorizes and indexes <clears throat> files and de deposits materials, forms, and monies received to assure public funds are administered properly. The treasurer is responsible for proper receipt, accounting, and disper disbursement of funds within proper policies established by the state of Iowa. Blackhawk County Board of Supervisors and corporate and unincorporated tax entities to adequate financial control. And then there was just a few statistics up there on different things that our office has seen over the course of the last three years. Um, like the, the low income DSC credits is what we call them. Um, we mail out stuff basically a form every year to those that have previously qualified for a low income credit. We mail those out every year for those recipients to continue to stay on that program to receive a credit on their property tax. Um, so that's kind of went up and down throughout the years. Um, there's another one we have for kind of a fun fact was just uh, what we mail out for our yearly statements for real estate and that kind of ranges up and down each year a little bit here and there. Um, another one would be our, our titles that we transfer within the office. So those are just kind of different fun facts of things that we, we do in there and track. Um, and then when it comes to our actual budget, um, majority of our stuff, I think pretty much stayed the same for what we were budgeting for this year. Um, some of our changes are gonna be our interest. Interest has changed with the market um, going down from what we were previously receiving, so we have a change on that. Um, another thing that we are asking for on this budget is for 
um, let's see, it was like a maintenance contract agreement with our office remodel coming up with the ARPA, ARPA funds. Um, we are looking at going with a QMATIC or a Q numbering system, um, whichever one, whichever program we end up going with. But we are to have budgeted on this is a, the like the subscription yearly fee to uh, get this program. Um, and what this system will do for our office is it will allow the county to be able to schedule an appointment online. It will allow the county when they come in to either receive a ticket, giving them a line or position in the line, or they can actually use a use their phone to um, sign up that way when they get into our office. Um, this program um, will kind of give us the ability to better serve Black Hawk County instead of them coming in and just sitting in a line or standing in a line. It'll, it'll actually put them in a position um, as for, it'll give them updates, like your number five, um, looks like your wait's gonna be 10 minutes. And then as each person gets helped within our system, it'll continue to send them notifications on how long their wait is gonna be. Um, so, um, let's see what else. Uh, it should also give us a, an ability to do um, like a virtual. So if a customer has a question, um, maybe it's a kind of a complicated thing that they have, they can actually do a virtual with somebody within our office before they come in. This is what I'm bringing in. I have out of state title. Would you please just look at this and see if everything that I am presenting is what I need. Um, so instead of the customer maybe coming in one, two, three times, they can already have talked with someone virtual before they make that appointment or come into our office to, um, to find out or to just to make sure that when they come in, they have everything proper at that point. Um, we're also hoping that this queuing system will make it so we'll know how many customers are coming in and then at that time um, be able to have a cutoff time of like 415, 420 to better serve Black Hawk County number one, but number two, so that the staff knows that that's our last appointment for the day. We can then get our staff out at 430 instead of continuing to have overtime. And add some resiliency too, is just more options should the office have to be closed down for some reason in the future that right. folks can pull up in the parking lot and check in and let people know they're here. And they stuff. can. And we were also, we were going to wait until the remodel got done, but the more we've started looking into everything, we're kind of thinking maybe we should do this prior. If we're going to be in a different location in the building or wherever right. we are, it gives mm -hmm. the customers a better way to get to us at that point. Um, yeah, no, I can see that being helpful during the remodel. Yes, yeah, for sure. Kind of, you don't know where you'll be located at this point in time, so it's just, yeah, nice right, to be able to right. accommodate and this, and this is also a product um, that eventually could be not for just the treasurer's office. This could actually be a pro product that other entities within Black Hawk County might be able to hop onto this system, whatever system we come up with. Um, you know, when they come into the building, maybe the recorder's office might be something that eventually would benefit them, mm -hmm. that they can go to this station or whatever and say, I'm here, I need to do a snowmobile remo or renewal, and that would send them a notification upstairs letting them know that they have somebody, you know, come in their direction as well. Would that require like a, another license or something, a subscription or whatever, or would that just be I something? I think that we so, could but we're still in the early stages. Okay. Um, right now, we've looked at three different systems out there. Um, mm -hmm. We're trying to get more information. I believe we're actually going to kind of do a field trip days and go oh, to sure. a couple other counties that are using these programs, see what they, the positives, the negatives are on these programs and see which systems they have and what might better serve with what our needs are here. That's great. Yeah. Sounds really good from the customer standpoint, especially, like I said, good for staffing, I'm sure, too. Yeah, but I know some of the right. counties um, have said that it has taken customers a little bit to get used to it. 
Sure. Mm -hmm. But once they have figured out how the program works, they absolutely love it because they then are aware of what their time frame is. Um, they can actually maybe, I think they can actually see how many customers we have waiting in the queue and then they can kind of plan their time around it as well. So they're saying that, it, that in the end, that it's a benefit for not just us as employees, but Blackhawk County as a whole. And we still maintain what we're doing currently for those that maybe don't have the technology yes. or don't aren't accustomed to doing it that way. So yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yep. Or we'll make sure we have staff available. Um, that'll probably take a little bit for us to kind of oversee and see what is going to work better for everybody as a whole. Um, but yeah, probably slowly working our way into um, giving them the option to possibly have a ticket. Yeah. For, Even that will be the generation, a change, I know. Right, yeah. for the generation that it does not want to use a computer or yeah. whatever it might be. Like but we might here. figure out later that everyone's more computer savvy than what we think. Yeah. As I see several of the people come in this morning with me that are just used to coming to the courthouse, it's just like, yeah, it's a nice feature that we continue at least until that transitions. Yeah. Well, it's kind <laughs> of one of those things where when we've seen the product for the demos, it's really gotten us excited as to what we can for the future move Blackhawk County into. Yeah, I can see that. Great. Be as convenient as doing a grocery pickup now. <laughs> yeah, <That's>, exactly. <laughs> to deliver them. <laughs> curb, curb service. Here's your curb service. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's, it's, it's not. It's, homes, it's not on. Yeah. <laughs> No changes in staffing or anything that looks like as far as some of the information can be. Not as any well. yet. More retirements coming, but. Yeah. Do you know approximately how many? Three. Three. Okay. I'm, a, I'm aware of three. three at this point. Oh, I, I guess I just had one that just retired for this year, and then I've got two more coming up yet this year for sure. Okay. Lots of changes. There's been a lot of changes. Hey, any other highlights? Pardon me? Any other highlights today? Anything you, you want to point out? Uh, nothing that I was prepared for, apparently. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> You'll take them as you get them. <laughs> All right. Board, any great. other questions? Or, Michelle, no. anything you wanted to highlight? I don't think so. All right. Well, All thank right. you. Yeah. Thanks very much. And that, that's all the formal stuff we have prepared for today. So, so is there informal? Are you doing anything informally? Um, or is uh, anything if you have questions, oh. we can talk about things, yeah. Oh. So, you know, negotiations are ongoing, and um, they met with two units yesterday and two more today. So we'll be getting a lot more information incorporated into here mm -hmm. to be able to meet with more people starting next week. That's really kind of the scheduling that is why you've got us on this kind of a schedule. It's part of it, of yeah. It's a big chunk because we have, with the compensation <laughs> study and negotiations, there's just been a lot of uncertainty. It was hard to estimate based on what their initial proposals came back. So we are trying to incorporate estimates once we kind of have a feel of where we're <coughs> going. There'll, probably, there'll still be some changes before the finals, but at least we feel like we're in the ballpark. Okay. Yeah, even from the ones, like I said, we've received, but they'll be the a little more minor in size. Yeah. yeah. Do we know yet what departments we're looking at for Tuesday? Well, I wasn't sure if we're going to have time on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, okay. That was my... Well, we know after we see the agenda today. Yeah, so the agenda that's the thing. I'm waiting to see what... And then that Mr. Garnett... Yeah, because it felt like we might already have a full agenda, but I don't know yet, so mm -hmm. we'll see as we get closer. I do know for... Thursday is probably likely to be a longer meeting. Um, we are going to have some representatives of the Soil and Water District want to speak with you. Um, I tentatively have several other people lined up. <laughs> Dr. Bickley, I think, he's out of town now, so he can't be here till next Thursday. Thursday. Um, and they'll, there should be several other departments okay. that we have on ready Thursday? by then. On Thursday. Or on Thursday, on departments Thursday. as well as these agency. Yes. Types. And if, yeah, if we'll see if anything can be worked in on Tuesday. I just, I hated to fill up your, your whole day on Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. All right, board, is there anything else you may wish to discuss today? If, if not, I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 
Bye. All right. All right. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Yes. Sorry.